Welcome to NCA Level 2 Chemistry, uh, Balancing Redox Equations, which is part of the Understanding Oxidation Reduction uh, Internal. So in terms of what we've learned so far, uh, oxidation is the loss of electrons, okay, and reduction is the gain of electrons, oil rig. And redox reactions mean that oxidation and reduction are happening simultaneously. And oxidation um, or oxidizing agents are substances that cause oxidation to occur and an oxidizing agent is actually reduced by the process and conversely a reducing agent is a substance that causes reduction to occur and the reducing agent is oxidized. So here's a few examples here of these agents. So in terms of reducing agents we have uh, different agents like metals uh, iodide anions, uh, hydrogen and carbon. So for example, for metals, the birch reduction, which is used in organic chemistry, uh, involves lithium being oxidized to the lithium plus cation. And then for the oxidizing agents, we of course have oxygen. The halogens are very useful uh, in terms of being oxidizing agents. If you bleached your hair, uh, hydrogen peroxide, great oxidizing agent, um, iron three cation, the purple permanganate anion, uh, very good disinfectant because it's such a great oxidizing agent and dichromate uh, anion uh, Cr2 O7 2 minus um, also a great oxidizing agent So in terms of half equations, what are they? Well half equations basically uh, record the uh, oxidation and reduction half of these re uh, redox reactions So for every redox reaction there is an oxidation a uh, reaction occurring and a reduction uh, equation uh, occurring. So you've got to have equations for those different processes, which then you combine into an overall redox equation. So in terms of balancing redox half equations, there are five steps, and we're going to go through a few examples to give you some practice. Um, the first one is you've got to work out the formula for the species before and after the reaction, what happens to it, then balance the atoms that are not oxygen and hydrogen, uh, then we balance those oxygens uh, with adding water, and of course all these steps are not necessarily uh, the same for every reaction, sometimes you don't have to use some of these steps. Uh, then step four, hydrogens are balanced with protons being added to the appropriate side, and then balance the charges um, so both sides equal uh, the same charge by adding electrons. Right, so let's have a look at uh, some examples. So the first one, which highlights the idea that you don't have to sometimes use all of the steps, uh, balancing the half reaction of iron 2 being oxidized, that nice brown color we see in the test tube of iron 3 plus. The first step is what's the species that's what are involved. Well, the iron 2 plus is essentially being uh, oxidized to iron 3 plus. So that's the first thing. Next thing you have to do is we have to balance the atoms. You have iron atom on one side, one iron atom on the other, so that's all good. There's no oxygen or hydrogen, so you don't have to worry about step three or four. Excellent. And then step five, you're just balancing the charge so both sides work out. So on the left-hand side, you have iron two plus, so two plus is the charge. On the right-hand side, you have iron three plus, so you need to add one electron on the right-hand side, so both sides equal two plus. Straightforward. Another example, this is a little bit more complicated. So this is where the permanganate anion is being reduced to the manganese, or manganate, or manganese, uh, 2 plus uh, cation. Okay, and this time it's an acidic solution, so we have to consider protons. Okay, so the first step is manganate uh, going to manganese 2 plus, no problem. And then the permanganate is, again, don't have to worry about... Um, anything around the hydrogens. Okay, so we just got to concern ourselves with the oxygens. Okay, um, so there's one manganese, manganese on one side, uh, one manganese on the other. So that's all good for step two. Step three, we now have oxygen that we have to balance. So this is done by adding four waters onto the right hand side. So that means you now have four oxygen atoms on the right-hand side and four oxygen atoms on the left-hand side. They're now balanced. 
Our problem now becomes, well, now we've got an unbalanced number of hydrogen atoms, because now by adding water, you have eight hydrogens on the right-hand side and none on the left-hand side. So we do this uh, balancing by adding eight protons to the left-hand side, by a, so eight H+. Plus. Okay, so now both oxygens and hydrogens are balanced on both sides, and now our charges are not going to be balanced. That's our last step. Uh, so on the left-hand side, you have MnO4 minus plus 8 times uh, positive 1, so 7 plus on that side. And you have only 2 plus on the right-hand side, so you have to add 5 electrons. So both, both sides now have the same charge of 4 plus. And that's step 5, and it's now a balanced half equation. And the final one, um, and you can see from this wonderful image here, is the change of the orange dichromate to the um, kind of yellowy uh, chromium 3 plus cation. And again, it's in acidic condition, so we have to consider protons. So the first one is um, the half equation with uh, just species, what's happening. So as I've mentioned, the dichromate's going to the chromium 3 plus. Step two, uh, we have to have two Cr3 plus because you've got two on the left-hand side in the actual um, polyatomic anion. Okay, at step three, we now have to balance the waters. Uh, sorry, we have to balance the oxygens uh, by adding waters. Um, so you have seven oxygens on the left-hand side, so you need seven waters on the right-hand side. So they balance out. And now we have added uh, 14 uh, hydrogens on the right-hand side, so we have to therefore add 14 protons on the left-hand side in step 4, so now the number of hydrogens balances out on both sides. And then again, the last thing we have to do is then balance the charge, just like before, we have the two examples. So we've got uh, 2 minus plus 14H plus is 12 plus, okay, and then we only got 6 plus, 2 times 3 plus on the right-hand side, so you've got to add 6 electrons, so both sides uh, on well, six electrons on the left hand side, so both sides now have six plus charge. And that's balancing half equations. So the last thing we're going to do is combining these half equations to make a balanced full equation. Okay, uh, and again, there's simple steps, and the four steps are write out the two half equations which you've just created, um, and then you've got to multiply the equations so the number of electrons are the same on both parts of the, both half equations, then we can cancel them out, those electrons. And finally, because we're now introducing water and protons, some of those might also cancel out as well uh, once it's finally balanced. So the example we're going to use is a reaction between the manganate uh, 7 plus um, or permanganate uh, anion and the iron 2 uh, cation. So you can see in step one, we've now just placed the half equations down. Okay, the oxidation uh, half equation of iron uh, 2 plus going to iron 3 plus, plus one electron, and then the permanganate um, turning into the manganese, or sorry, manganate 2 plus, or manganese 2 plus, sorry, manganese 2 plus. That's the reduction half equation. Step two, then what we're doing is we're going to multiply the top one by five because it's only got one electron, whereas the bottom equation has five. Okay, so that's five Fe2 plus going to five Fe3 plus plus five electrons. Okay, that means now the electrons can cancel out. And then the last, uh, or step three, is now we've got, um, as you can see, um, eight protons on one side. Uh, eight protons, no protons on the other side, so that's all good. So it essentially means that once we've got rid of the electrons, uh, that is the balanced equation. Don't have to worry about um, anything around water or uh, protons uh, for the last one. That's actually a rather straightforward example. It might be different for others. Okay, so that's how you balance uh, or combine half equations to give an overall redox reaction full equation.